This week, we're catching up with two couples. Yes! Great! Who weren't easy to please. I'm not a fan of big paving slabs. No, that's too picky. But some stunning properties. I love that window up there. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? And a bit of tough love. She's cruel. <laughs> oh, this is so harsh. Got us back in the running. Oh, my God! Wow. No way. That's exciting. And now we're back to see what's blossomed. Congratulations all round. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm catching up with a couple who have apparently been very busy since moving into their new home just a year ago. They've tied the knot and had to buy a cot. And our other couple were on a mission to downsize, but to a bigger house. I'm back to see how they all got on. In 2019, we were scouring the streets of Swindon to find a future family home for Alistair and Candice. And in 2018, we were helping this footy-mad duo corner the property market in Bolton. Come on. We're both Manchester United fans. We have a season ticket. And I'm lucky enough to have married a woman who uh, loves football as much as me. Yes! United! Community support workers Angelina and Thomas are both Bolton born and bred and are property searching in their hometown. Well, they've been married uh, 38 years come December. Mm. A very, uh, very long time. Yeah, extremely long. <laughs> now grandparents and looking towards retirement, they decided to sell their family home of 32 years in order to downsize to their forever dream pad. We decided to move because uh, I wanted a garden put our house up for sale, I thought we wouldn't sell it. But we did sell it, <laughs> and then we had nowhere to live. We cocked it up completely, really. All our stuff is in storage, most of it. So for now, they are squeezing in with daughter Charlotte and her family. It's lovely having our grandson there all the time and that, but... It's not ideal invading your daughter's space. Before we get on each other's nerves, we'd like to go and get our own place again. Mm. I know it's hard to believe that we'd get on anybody's nerves, except each other's, but... Yeah, yeah. The search is on for the perfect home. That looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. And for Angelina, one thing in particular is most important. The garden in our old house was tiny. I want a garden where I can be lying on my lilo with a glass of wine. Watching me heaven. work. Yeah, that's my idea of heaven. The quest for a south-facing garden is really driving the search. We do do drive paths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we drive down the street. What do you think? Oh, I don't think it's so facing, Thomas. No, it's not. If the sun's not shining on the back, then we drive past. It's no good to us. Let's right. move on. Hoping for a relaxed retirement, they aren't keen to do work, and the property has to suit their future needs. We like the downstairs toilet. I don't want my court shot anywhere. She don't want Run me carrying me upstairs. Seems a reasonable request as is their desire to be close to country trails for walking, but with a long wish list, their search has been far from a stroll in the park. I'm not overly optimistic. I seem to be going to be one of those glass half empty people. We'll find one, I know we will. No pressure. <laughs> well, luckily I know someone who always has a full glass. You've sold your house. What did you do a silly thing like that for? <laughs> exactly. This time, 12 months ago, <laughs> if you'd have told me we'd sold our house, yeah. got rid of most of our furniture, yeah. and moved back in with our daughter, I'd have said, you're having a laugh. Downsizing is actually tough. Yeah. It, it's much harder to pull off than it often first appears. Are you listening, mm -hmm. Angelina? You might have to lose some shoes. Yeah. 60 boxes of shoes went into the lock-up. 40 boxes of shoes went to her mother's. That's more than Kirsty. And that's saying that's something. Yeah. How much are you willing or able to spend? 200,000. OK. Mm -hmm. That's the maximum we can afford. OK. So you've sold that um, in the hope of finding a house with a lovely garden? Yes. Have you ever done any gardening? No. <laughs> Not really. We've been married for 38 years and I've never known her to plant a seed. So... Yeah. I killed a cactus once. She did kill a cactus. Mm, so, yeah. Does it have to have a south-facing garden? Definitely. You are massively restricting the numbers of houses that you can possibly consider. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm fine with that. I've been told you're the man for the job. <laughs> Let's make a start. 
Come on. Despite downsizing, a new area means they'll be looking at houses double the price of their old one. Their budget is £200,000, consisting of money from their sale, savings and a small mortgage. They would like at least two bedrooms for visiting grandchildren and Angelina's shoe collection. A south-facing garden is essential for sipping wine in the sun and a downstairs loo is a must. They would also like good access to the country for rambling. We'll be focusing our search on Thomas and Angelina's favourite spots around Bolton, keeping them close to family as well as the countryside. Our other house hunters are based three hours drive south in Swindon. They're keen to live in the pricey Old Town area, but we'll also be covering some of the neighbouring villages to get more for their money. Looking to buy here are a couple who started out as friends before some heavenly inspiration. One night when I was single, I sort of saw Alistair and I ran over to him and... <laughs> <laughs> I was standing at the bar and I turned around and she was like an illuminated angel, <laughs> the light directly over her head <laughs> and shouted at me, I'm single now. <laughs> it was my first girl's night out after being single. I was really excited about it, but I was more excited to see you. It didn't mean to be that I was coming on so strong. <laughs> But with Alistair, an indoor leisure entrepreneur working hard to build his businesses, together time with delivery manager Candice is preciously short, so they like to get busy. Oh, oh get in the hole. On. Go away for the day, go for walks, socialise with friends, drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of we those don't things. drink too much wine, but we just enjoy it, don't well, we? Not at the moment. <laughs> and it's about to get busier. Someone new is crashing the party. I think it's amazing that this small human's growing inside of me. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. So weird. <laughs> really weird. It's the weirdest yeah. experience we've ever done, but we're loving it. Yeah. Yeah. But now, despite the baby clock ticking ever louder, they're still not completely in sync when it comes to the house hunt. I think what it looks like from the outside is probably more important to me than it is to you. Yeah, isn't it? I'd like it to look nice, but I can, I'm happy to grow trees to cover it up. <laughs> well, I think it, it needs to be in a nice area. It's really like the old town area, don't we? Yeah, I'm more open to being slightly outside of Swindon, I suppose, because it is a really nice upbringing. Good to hear, especially as for the three-bed family home they'd like, their 500 grand budget is around 100 grand short in the parts of the old town they like. I think the issue so far has maybe been the only ones we've really liked. The prices haven't been right. We know that we'll have to uh, make some compromise somewhere. But their shared vision endures to move out of Alistair's bachelor pad and into a family home for the next bit of the journey. It'd just be nice to feel like it was our house we bought together so I could fully unleash the girl tat around the house. Yeah. Yeah. Make it all boho chic, that would be it. Perfect timing. The ultimate boho chick is on her way. So, you live in Old Town and you want to live in Old Town. Where we live now yeah. is arguably perfect, with the exception of having a good garden and off-road parking. I love the house in that the location is great. The location is everything. It's the name of the show, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it <laughs> They've is. read it three times yeah. in the title, yeah. yeah. so yeah. it is. It is. But ideally, to have a third bedroom, for me, would probably be the best thing. I'd like a kitchen that's a bit bigger. It's, yes. Yeah. yeah. There is a bit of a gap between what you would ideally like in the area you'd like it in and the budget. OK. I would, I'd want more from the house if we are compromising want, location. Yeah, I'm Consistent probably more willing to compromise on it than you. Why yeah. do you think that? I'm probably more able to look at something and visualise where we'd be. Is it a curb appeal thing? I, I, yes. I, yeah, I definitely do have the more, yeah. more, much more than Candice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kirsty, time to get this couple off the curb and onto the road to finding a home. My couple can stretch to 500 grand from a mortgage and savings but cash-conscious Candice wants a three-bed family home for less and would be happy updating. It will ideally have a good-sized kitchen diner for family life and the all-important garden for baby and parents to play in. And for Alistair, good off-road parking. And with location of such high importance to them, it's lucky I know someone with some insider knowledge of the area. This is Ink Pen behind us, the oh, village yes. where I was brought up. Stunning. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? Is this it? where you roamed? I toboggan down this hill. You're kidding me, that no, would be very, very, very scary. Very fast, very fast indeed. But not as fast as the Swindon property market, which is why there's no time to lose getting Alistair and Candice's search started. We're kicking off with a property in their preferred area of Swindon's trendy old town, where there's a lack of stock in their price bracket. 
This house isn't in their favorite street, but it's as close as we could get for their budget. Alistair, what did we just walk through? A garage. A double garage. What are we in now? A garden. garden. And what part of town are we in? Old, Old town. town. Great! That sounds like a hat trick to me. There you go, three out of three. <laughs> that is good, isn't it? What's next door as well? What is that next door? That is an old people's home. Okay. okay. So it's... That noise. That fan goes sometimes, not all the time. Okay. okay. Let's go and have That's a look. An I was hoping for better than that. But they've still to see inside this Victorian style end terrace set across three floors. The open plan ground floor has the extra space they want and the sociable kitchen diner. A fantastic hub for future family. Upstairs is spacious and bright with four double bedrooms to choose from. One more than Candy's hoped for, plus a family bathroom. The large enclosed garden should keep mummy and baby happy, whilst a double garage should do it for dad. Don't forget, we're in Old Tan, and at £400,000, it's 100 grand under budget. That's money to make the changes they want. So this would, obviously, if you did the kitchen white, even if you didn't do anything it else, would look massive. it would look, yeah, because it's really big. It's kitchen diner, which I kind of wanted. Yeah. yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Could be a winner, Kirsty. Oh, Alistair's not saying much. What they've done here is obviously not through from the original two rooms. OK. And sure. they've got this as a double sitting room. I think it's OK. I can see the potential here. I like the features like that. and I quite... Yeah, the features are nice. But I'm getting no fizz at all from this okay. house. I'm struggling to get over the fan from the outside. The fan is it, yeah. I mean, I, I can, because I know it's there, I can still hear it. Alistair's not a big fan, but this property is what their budget stretches to in Old Town. And with so little stock to choose from, it should help them decide their next move. Oh. Big, isn't it? Yeah. A lot brighter than it was downstairs. Yeah. I was standing out here, fiddling with my lipstick, and the neighbour came out. And she said that the fan is broken and the care home have said that it's being mended. I don't think it's going to be a game-changer, but you never know. It's really grown on me, actually. Has it? Now that fan is not on. Yeah, it's grown on me as well. Yeah. It's good. Interesting. Cool. I think you might be in for a surprise, Kirsty. If the fan wasn't there, would it be a contender? I think the house would be. It's We're both kind happy of with it. So we're still parking and having to walk up the road, which is essentially the same situation we're in. No, that's too picky. No, that is a double garage. You're walking the full length of your own property yeah. with guaranteed parking in yeah, that place. Yeah, I guess you do sell the parking in that place, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll take a lot, but that is a step that's, that's too far. That's taking a bit, yeah. Come on. It's a good house, Kirsty, but this couple are going to have to be big fans about all aspects of a property. Well, I hope they're willing to travel for it. We're back, catching up with two couples on a deadline to find the right digs. In Swindon, Alistair and Candy are expecting their first baby and need a first family home to match. But in their favourite area, our best find for their budget got mixed reviews. You can see the potential here. I like the features like that. and I quite... Yeah, the features are nice. But I'm getting no fizz at all from this. And in Bolton, Thomas and Angelina have had to move in with family after selling their house quicker than expected, and the hunt is on for their forever home and garden. What's up? Hello. I've got a situation I've never, ever come across. Yeah. Whereby a couple have sold their house... Yeah. ..because she wants to have a garden, but they've never had a garden. She's no idea whether she's actually going to like gardening. I have always believed that I would become a passionate gardener, so I'm with them. Right. As soon as the children were bored of me and I was bored of them... Still the case? I, I'm not bored of them yet. Okay. I don't know whether they're bored of me yet, but I haven't asked them. Best not to, eh? Best not to, yeah. Come on. Well, there's nothing boring about our next property. To kick off Thomas and Angelina's search we're heading west of Bolton to the town of Horwich. They like this area, and I can see why. Horwich is overlooked by Rivingdon Pike, a local beauty spot and hiking area, perfect for rambling in their retirement. Well, that's what we're here to see. Oh. Three bed semi. Has it got a south-facing garden? It's definitely got a south-facing garden. I wouldn't forget that. On paper, this house has everything that Thomas and Angelina have asked for. On the ground floor, the property has a cosy living room, 
an adjoined kitchen diner. Not to forget that all-important WC. On the first floor, there were three bedrooms, so plenty of space for visiting grandchildren, and this single room would be perfect for Angelina's shoe collection. And if that doesn't get a rubber-heeled stamp from Angelina, this south-facing garden overlooking the cricket ground just might. It's the perfect spot for relaxing in the sun and ideal for the grandchildren, as they can have access to the grounds when there isn't a match on. And I'm hitting for six with the price, as it's 20 grand under their 200 grand budget, with an asking price just shy of 180,000 pounds. Downstairs, Luke, very important. This house, you know, it kind of does what it says on the tin. It's a three-bed semi. It's a bit small. I can't, I'm trying to weigh up. In our old house, the ceilings were so much higher than this. It seems smaller. Mm. Tiny. Well, they are supposed to be downsizing. Time to bring out my star player. This is where it gets interesting for me. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, this is nice. That's a big playground. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Once Never thought we'd get something like this. Thomas, you're being uncharacteristically quiet. Don't, don't tell me you hate cricket. That would sadden oh. me. I love watching a cricket match, but I'm not a fan of big paving slabs. Well, there's not a lot of grass. Yeah. But knowing that you wanted a garden, but actually you don't know whether you are keen gardeners, yeah. it's about sitting and enjoying a glass of gin and tonic. Well, I feel like sitting down now and having a glass of gin and tonic, so, yeah, it does it for me. <laughs> well, we should probably look around the house a bit first. Yeah. But, come on. Angelina may see herself with a drink in hand, but it appears Thomas's glass is still half empty. Would these both rooms be enough room for all your clothes? It <laughs> wouldn't, would no. they? This garden thing has got to be really important to them because having sold at 100,000 and buying at 200,000, they are effectively doubling their budget. And yet, because they're changing area, they're having to squeeze into a smaller house, all because of the garden. It shouldn't be called location, location, location. It should be called garden, garden, garden. So, what do you think? I love the outside. It's just the inside is small. The first house, it's a learning process. We'll go on and see some more. Thank yeah. you. See if I can do any better. <laughs> and by better, I mean bigger. Back with my couple and mindful of the ticking baby clock, I'm hoping my next house has enough fizz to avert their gaze from the over-budget streets in Old Town. It's a nice area, isn't it? It is nice here, isn't it? We're heading to the attractive village of Purton. It's perfect for idyllic family life, plus it's only six miles northwest of Old Town, only 15 minutes' drive. Fingers crossed for number two. Bit different. Bit, Bit good. different. Do you know where we are? Purton. Purton. Good. So we're happy with location? Yes. Yeah, I think so. We are happy with location. That all comes with this property, so that's a this very, one. very large okay. garage. I yeah. like it so far. Good. Good. Oh, I love that window up there. I thought yeah. you might. I, I thought you might. Yeah. yeah. Let's get in there. Good. Okay. Well, full marks from Alistair curbside, Kirsty. And unlike property one, this converted barn is detached, set across two floors, and all about practical family living. The downstairs layout is perfect for now, but as they grow, so can the house, with permission in place to extend out the side if they wish. Upstairs is also move-in ready, open and bright, with four bedrooms and two bathrooms. Plenty for additional babies down the line. And with the obligatory garage for Alistair and a smart, family-friendly garden, it's a great package. On Chain Free at offers over £425,000. So comfortably in budget. He hasn't done much with the garden, but I think it's... It's a good size, It's though. a really good size, Managed, isn't it? Very manageable, I like that. Very nice. I like this area as well. So, coming in, all of this is yours as well. Oh, yeah. It's fine for a small baby, yeah. you know, sort of high chair here kind of thing, but I think long term it might be It'd nice. It'd be nice to have a kitchen sure. diner. Yeah, yeah, come and have a look at this. So, what you've got here, you see, is this side return. Now, you've still oh, got yes. that lovely oh, wow. area there, which is sunny, fantastic for kind of barbecues and everything. But if this had a conservatory on it, yeah. you'd have a kitchen diner. Yeah. Good vibes. 
good vibes. Very I'm good. fizzing today. You are fizzing, Alistair. Oh, I'm fizzing glad to hear you're fizzing, because <laughs> I was worried about the lack of fizz. Yeah. Let's see if upstairs adds even more sparkle or bursts their bubble. Quick point of interest. They haven't asked me how much it is. And they seem super keen. How many times should you hit a head on that before you remember it's there? I think I'd be all right. But we all know what it's like. You don't try on a dress until you check the price. Compromise on being out of Old Town is getting this. Getting this. Yeah. So, are they as keen as they seem? And have they just forgotten to ask me what the price is? We shall see. The house is, is lovely. Yeah, you can be back in Swindon in 10 minutes as well. Yeah. So, I like it. I, I really like it. I like it. Back on top, Kirsty. But I wonder how they'll feel about the railway line that's less than 100 metres away. Do you mind about trains? I don't mind, but if there's a train that goes past, you know, the 10.33 that wakes me up every night, that would be an issue. Do you think it would wake you up? Yes. I think you'd get used to it, wouldn't you? I don't know. So. It's one for negotiation. It doesn't bother me, but we'll see. Look I think out, look out. You want a house, didn't you? Look Furious. at you. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> <I'm> furious. <laughs> this is like the dream house to me. This is well, like where I saw myself. Yeah. How much do you think it is? Just I'm going to go 4.50. I think I'd like it to be 4.50. I think it's probably more, though. It is off as over. 4.25. <gasps> Wow. No way. That's exciting. I kind of want to skip out of here if I wasn't such a trip hazard <laughs> to myself. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can see where this train's going. Candice has a one-way ticket, but will Alistair get on board? With Thomas and Angelina, we're in Sharples to the north of Bolton. They're fans of the area as it has family and country on their doorstep. Having found the first property too small, I'm hoping this one will give them the space they're looking for and I brought Kirsty along to big it up. And what do you make of the look of that? Very nice. Right, well, we'd better get in Come then. On, this property's ready to move into, and looking to the future, they wouldn't need to lift a finger. On the ground floor, there's a light and airy living room, and no work required to this modern kitchen and utility. There isn't a downstairs loo, but there is space under the stairs to put one in. And this partially paved garden with grass to the back should keep them both happy. Upstairs, there are two double bedrooms, the minimum they have asked for. But they're spacious enough for grandchildren and storage. And there's a bathroom as well as a separate shower room, which may be a sweetener for that missing downstairs loo. Even Thomas might struggle to find fault with this one. Perfect for a relaxed retirement and it's 25 grand under budget at £175,000. Very light, bright front room. You're right, it is. Yeah. Very much like the front room we had, isn't it? I wouldn't change this for a while, aren't you? No. Yeah. Like tall ceilings, like we had mm. at our old house. Are you in mourning, Thomas, for the house Slightly, you lost? Yeah. Right. Okay. So you've been dragged out, kicking and screaming. I cry myself to sleep every night. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Okey dokey. I think we need to stop these bedtime tears. Over to you, Kirsty. So, uh, Thomas, one can't stay in mourning forever. You yes. didn't come home and find that Angelina had sold the house in, in the middle of... No. No, I agreed, eventually. The reason probably she drove it is because men are happy with the status quo. We need to kick up the bottom. Yes. And while you give ghosts of properties past the boot, I'm doing some healing of my own with Angelina. Look at this. Oh, my God! It's got your name all over it. Oh, look at yeah. these. How many shoes have you got? More than this. Is Thomas on the back foot about this whole process? He is a bit, yeah. But Thomas, that starts going in his mind. OK. What we have to change and how yeah. much it did cost. So, does this house strike a better note with you? It's probably more my kind of end-of-life place. End-of-life? You're 59, Thomas. 60 this year. Hardly end-of-life. What you need is the house for now. I wonder if it'll be me killing Angelina and she'll kill me. It'll be one or the other. Hopefully I can find them a home before it gets to that. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? I'm not sure I'm getting this right. You just have to stop the talk about it being this huge, this house will take us to our grave decision. Got a lot of plus points, this, hasn't it? How long can you sleep in your daughter's spare room? Not long, not long. If they agree on this one, they could be out of there in no time. How are you getting on? We uh, nice. see a massive amount of potential here. Yeah. At least you're both on the same page and both liking this. Yeah. Mm. They do have some thinking to do, but I'm not convinced I've solved this one yet. 
for my final attempt to get my pair into the perfect family home before Candy's pops, we're heading to what could be a fantastic future-proof option. We've come to Wombra, just over five miles east of their beloved old town. It's a family-friendly village we know they like, and being here means they get the space they want and more. I've drafted Phil in for this one. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Not got a lot of curb appeal this house, No, we, we said on the way walking up, feels like we're coming to see our nan. That's not... <laughs> not, not a great start, is it? No. no. Well, it's been lovely meeting no, you. No, no, uh, no. Wait, I'll, wait. I'll Phil, <laughs> Phil, stop mucking about. Um, OK. What would you have to find inside to change your mind? I don't know, a wine cellar. Um, <laughs> big jacuzzi. <laughs> I think it has to be an awful lot at this stage. Yeah. You two stay here and chat, <laughs> OK? <laughs> She's cruel. <laughs> this is so harsh. Well, what this extended late 60s bungalow lacks in curb appeal, it certainly makes up for in future-proof family home. One they can hang on to for years. Plus, it's a total surprise on the inside. Open and bright throughout, with two reception rooms to go between and the sociable kitchen diner they want. Plenty of space for this growing family. It's the biggest house they've seen so far, whilst outside the family garden and off-road parking certainly meets their requirements. It's in a village they like. It does push the budget to their top 500 grand. However, it's move-in ready, meaning an easy option before the baby arrives. This doesn't feel like a house where you're now. No, definitely it? not. No, no. It's, it's, it's beautiful inside. And it's, yeah. it's really big and open plan. I just don't see myself living here or, or wanting to pull up here every day. Um, which the other house did have that. What do you suspect's going on? I'm not sure. I think Alistair... Maybe Alistair's in love with it. In five years' time, you are going to see my number come up on your phone. OK. Because the barn house is a great house. Yeah. You will outgrow it. You will not outgrow this house in 15 years. It, you'd be hard pushed to outgrow this house in 25 years. OK. Good advice, Kirsty. They are buying for the long term, after all. Yes, but let's see if it sinks in. Oh, here you are. We had a, a very serious chat. It's got plenty of living space that we could grow into over a number of years, but it's not the barn. OK. And five years of happiness in the barn, I would say, outweighs ten years of unhappiness. Oh, Alistair! <laughs> well, I tried my best. You did, but this house isn't for them. But it looks like the barn could be their happy ever after. We're back catching up with two couples at opposite ends of the property ladder. In Swindon, Alistair and Candice have a baby due and are eyeing up the barn conversion we showed them in Purton as a potential nest to feather. This is like the dream house to me. This is well, like where I saw myself. Yeah. And in Bolton with Thomas and Angelina. They've been putting themselves under a lot of pressure to find their forever home, but hope was on the horizon in this spacious semi in Sharples. See a massive amount of potential here. And I've got one more ace up my sleeve, which I think will surprise them. We're three miles from the centre of town in their top patch of Smith Hills. A property on their favourite street that they have previously viewed and thought was overpriced has had a 10 grand price reduction. I love this area. This is you? Andy's want to live area. Yeah. Yeah. The, the walks. walks up here. We're in the heartland. Yeah. With the two properties from yesterday still on their minds, they've agreed it's worth another visit. So how long ago was it that you looked at this house then? Four months. Four months ago, yeah. And it was at the top end of our budget. OK. Mm. Fate may have played its hand, but mm. it's a bit less money than when you looked at it. But let's, let's get ourselves in. OK. I can definitely see why they considered this 1930s semi. I'm hoping a second visit and opinion could make it a contender. To the front of the property, there's a lounge with a feature fireplace, and under the stairs, that all-important loo. To the back is a spacious dining area, which leads to the kitchen. They both look out onto the south-facing garden. Upstairs, there shouldn't be an issue with space for all Angelina's clothes and shoes, as this master bedroom comes with built-in storage. And there are two further bedrooms for visiting grandchildren. After a sale fell through, it's now on the market for £190,000, our most expensive yet, but within budget and in their number one spot. Well, you know your way round. Yes. 
This is what I remember, the big dining room. This is the biggest dining area that we've seen. Yes, mm. it is. And the kitchen, what do you make of that? I love this. Yeah. I think it flows really well. Why would you make it a nice kitchen? Why not just put nice floors? Well, in? they might have had it a long time. Let's just concentrate on the space, the size, the layout, and whether it's the right house or not, and then we can think about the smaller issues. It's a nice kitchen, mm -hmm. and even the units I wouldn't change. Well, look, you have a look around the bedrooms. <laughs> Somehow, I've got to change Thomas's mindset. He's concentrating on the floors and the doors. This is just a question of painting again, isn't it? Yeah. Not talking and not thinking about the big picture. New carpets. There's yeah. nothing major. But that, it looks nice. Mm. Nice-ish. Ish? What will it take to impress Thomas? I just hope that garden isn't only south-ish facing. South, it is. The sun picks up in the east and sets in the west. That's perfect. The last time we came in the winter, and it was totally different. It looks gorgeous now. That's me sorted. <laughs> what about you? Lot of, lot of, lot of pluses. Mm. Do you like it? Yes. It's give me the biggest feeling. At last, I think you may have solved it, Phil. Should we go and have a chat about what to do? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's more <laughs> like it. You're keen now. Finally, Thomas's glass is starting to fill. I can only hope it's full enough to make an offer. Swindon with Alistair and Candice. It's all about property two, the barn in person. Candice, yes. are you super keen on this house? <laughs> I really want do this you house. Do you want to make an offer straight yes, away? Yes, I do want this house. So, what are we going to do about the train? It's a 1% thing. <laughs> it's a 1%, <laughs> it's a 1 thing. thing. So, on that, I'm, we're okay. both happy to make an yeah. offer. Okay, okay, right. The property is on at offers over £425,000. Now, 45 is what it says on the piece of paper, and 45 is is that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We'll just give Paul a ring. I'm excited. Yeah, I, I'll be excited when we hear back. Paul, it's Kirsty. So here's the thing. We've got a very motivated buyer who is absolutely ready to roll. Can we agree it at 45? Okie doke. Okay. Bye. Now we wait. Now we wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can have a beer to calm the nerves. <laughs> In Bolton, Thomas and Angelina are keen on the final property after visiting it for a second time. I think it's a great house. Do you both love it? You do. I love the road. It's about the location. Yeah. We realise now we don't want to let it go again. You'd probably get it for 185. I think we should probably try a bit lower than that and see what happens. Yeah. 180? Yeah. 180. Here we go. Let's do it. Andrea, Phil Spencer here. They very much like that house. The offer they've asked me to put to you is 180,000. Thank you. Bye bye. We've got to expect it to be declined. Yeah. Meanwhile, with Alistair and Candice, bad weather and bad news. The owner has turned down their offer of 425,000 pounds and wants 435,000. You know we. We want to be involved in 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 this house, but it ha it has to be at a reasonable figure. Okay, brilliant. And you, bye. My advice is 50-50. Part of me thinks sit it out. My other advice is is actually still a good price at four three five. If we could go back to being at the bottom of the stairs, and I could go, psh, psh, how much do you think it is? I still say four fifty. Yeah. It's four three five. <gasps> Can't like believe it. Late. Yeah. Should we just go four, three, five? Let's just do it. I think <laughs> we're just. We've I think we're beating around We've the. We've come too far. Now we need to see if that price is enough to seal the deal. Um, Paul, if we did offer four, three, five, is he actually going to take it off the market? That's it. Close. Yeah. Oh, right. Phew. Yeah. Okie dokie. Fantastic. Thanks so much. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Done. Cheers. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Well done. Happy? Yes. I am happy. Good. Remember our deal. Find it another one in five years. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Kirsty. You got them there in the end. Baby has a home. Back in Bolton, Thomas and Angelina are waiting to hear about their offer of 180000 
10 grand below asking. That was quick work. I really hope I can secure it for them. A bit low. OK. Can I just ask you to hold and we'll try and sort this out here and now? It'd go with 182. Done. Done. We have a deal. 182. Brilliant. Cheers. Bye-bye. Well done. Oh, thank you. I could kiss you. <laughs> oh, yeah. so. <laughs> I'm not kissing him. No. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. What a deal. <laughs> Two years down the line, and they've been hard at work putting their stamp on this forever home. Even though it felt the right place for us, and we mm. originally didn't think we'd do much, we've just done everything. Yeah, we did get carried away a bit, I'm afraid. But such is life. Over the course of 12 months, both the exterior and interior have been painstakingly updated and revamped. Downstairs, the front living room has benefited from a new ceiling, floor and log burner, as well as a fresh lick of paint courtesy of Thomas's own fair hands. I've painted every inch of this house. Somebody said to me, well, just get a painter in. I know a good lad will do it for 100 quid a day. I said, 100 pound a day? I said, I can paint. <laughs> but whilst Thomas clearly hasn't changed much, the upstairs definitely has. What was the back bedroom is now a modern bathroom suite after a pretty hefty and lengthy renovation. We were without a bathroom for quite a while. Well, luckily, Angelina's mother doesn't live too far away, so we were using her bathroom every day. We have got a downstairs loo, so we didn't need to be dashing down for the toilet, but it was a stressful time, wasn't it? Yeah. Meanwhile, the old bathroom has become a much-needed storage space for Angelina's extensive shoe collection. They've got an home now. They were just packed away in our other house. Now they've got an home. A room of her own to collect dust. That you can clean. I have got rid of quite a few pairs now, even though it doesn't look like it. I have, because I've realised I don't wear half of them. <laughs> what woman needs over 100 pairs of shoes? Over 200. No, it's not. It might not be now, but it will when we moved in. Mm. I'd step away from that topic if I was you, old friend. There's no disputing the change to the kitchen, though. Brand new units have been lovingly installed, and by removing the back wall, they've also created one flowing space with separate areas for cooking, dining and relaxing. All in Angie's favourite colour scheme. She does like grey. You could say it's 50 shades of grey. Well, grey goes with anything. What used to be a standard window is now a set of patio doors leading out onto a Juliet balcony. The perfect spot for Angelina to appreciate her all-important south-facing garden. I found out that I really do like having a garden, but I don't like gardening. Luckily for me, Thomas quite likes it. Oh, so, I don't, it just has to be done. No, you, that, you do like it, I can tell. Something they both <laughs> enjoy, though, is some al fresco dining, when the weather's a bit more amenable, of course. We bought a barbecue. Yeah. Never had one of them before. And so we have a tea outside when it's nice, when we do get some sun. And obviously mm. I do the barbecue, in, yeah. as well as the gardening, as well as coming up and down for the drinks. We have got a sun lounger. I don't think I've been in mine yet. Angelina mm. has. Yeah, I've tested them both. With any luck, both of them will be able to relax a bit more now that all the hard graft is behind them. We'd lived at uh, our old house for 32 years. Mm. Our children had been grown up there, so to leave after that length of time was uh, really strange. This took a while to feel like home, mm. especially at the beginning when we were doing so much work. But now, it's, it's the best decision we made, even though with no money, because we spent it all. You only live once. She never did like having savings. No. Money is for spending, life is for living. And it's great to see them living that life to the full. I only hope that Alistair and Candice's move into their soon-to-be family home has gone as smoothly.
When we last saw Alistair and Candice just over a year ago, there was no time to lose getting them into their first family home before their duo became a trio. Alistair and Candice had hoped to stay in their beloved Swindon Old Town, but we found them this barn conversion nearby in the leafy village of Purton. And they moved in six weeks later. If only it was always that simple. Good morning. Good morning. Bill. How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. Good. A little damp, but well. Yeah, come, come on, on in. in. It's absolutely pouring down. Thank you. Not even a drizzly day like this one can dampen the spirits when matched with this beautiful interior. With its stunning open plan living area, which now has the addition of a cozy log burner, it's easy to see why this pair fell in love with this house. Congratulations all round. Thank, Thank you. you. I mean, there has been an awful lot of change and in a fairly short space of time, because you moved in within six weeks and just in time. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, just yeah. in time to have a party as well. Yes, we, 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 yeah, we managed to move in, have a party and a baby shower, yeah. um, and then get the room decorated, and then along came yeah. little baby Camilla. Luckily, the house didn't need any major work doing to it, which left them plenty of time to squeeze in another big life event. We decided when Camilla had arrived, we were engaged anyway, but we thought we'd yeah. get, the, get the wedding done, Tied and we managed to get there. it done. It was fantastic. And, uh, <laughs> Cleverly on my part, so on the 29th of February. What's the significance of that? Leap year. <laughs> Anniversary every four years. I like your thinking. <laughs> I, I sort of floated the idea to Candice and she, yeah. she thought it was romantic. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very good at remembering dates, Phil, and that one I don't think you can not remember. No, I, don't know, I don't know if I'll actually get away with that. <laughs> no, I don't think you will somehow, <laughs> but I admire you for trying. <laughs> what a year you've had. Bought the house, had a baby, got married. I mean, it's been all go. Can I have a look around? Yeah, please do. Come and have a look. Upstairs, the hallway and four bedrooms have all been given a freshen up, with the biggest transformation reserved for the smallest person, one-year-old Camilla. Ah, and Camilla's room, obviously. All the bells and whistles, very smart. Yes, it was priority to get this room organised, obviously, for her arrival. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've decorated it with some pretty bold wallpaper. That is quite bold. Yeah, but it, it looks wonderful. We're really happy with it. And then Alice's brother also built us a cot, which we're... Really happy. Well, from scratch. Yeah, so that's was fantastic. Around. Yeah, wow. he's very talented. So, was it all prepared before she arrived in the world? Yes, it was. So, we had her here at home. We had a home okay. birth, which yeah. was kind of we decided to go down that route, which really helped our bond with the house even more. That must have been really nice. Yeah, it was really special. It was something that we thought might be quite special, and to be in our home and. It makes me never yeah. want to really leave this house, to be honest, now. All in all, you've had a very, very special and immediate connection with the house. Yeah, absolutely. It's lovely to see how this pair have turned a stylish contemporary space into such a warm and welcoming family home without losing what first attracted them to it. Lovely and bright room, big windows, really nice. It's part of the reason why we're in this room because um, the big window here yes. um, is obviously a, a big appeal. You can see the yeah. sunsets there as well. Yeah. Um, so in these sort of late summer evenings, it's lovely. Any regrets about not being in Swindon Old Town? Definitely not. We've got space around us. We can sit outside. It's just, it's just yeah. amazing. And we, with our budget, we would never have got this much outdoor space yeah. than we would have got in Old Town. So it's no regrets to ditching the hubbub of Swindon Old Town for the quieter pace of country life. And with this house's rural location, it's perfect for family walks whilst being close enough to public transport to be convenient. I just hope the noise hasn't proven to be a concern for Alistair. I remember Kirsty talking something about a train line that was nearby that had you deliberating. It is, it is very close. Um, it's probably less than 100 metres away as the crow flies. And um, actually, barely notice it. Uh, and if anything, it has a, sort of a little romance to it, to be honest, when a train goes by and gives a little toot. It's clear this house really is right on track for what this family needs right now. And following Kirsty's advice, they have plans in place to make it an even better fit in the future. Plan is to close down this kitchen, um, make it a bit of utility space, uh, and then we'll move the kitchen outdoors. So this whole area out here will become our new kitchen. Uh, nice, big, open, airy uh, island. Uh, breakfast bar, you know, what you kind of want from a nice big kitchen. Um, but more, more importantly, something that this house doesn't have is a front door. Uh, we've kind of got a side door here, 
and patio doors at the back, but there's no real entrance to the property, so um, we're going to put in here a, a nice front door. You that. don't stand still, do you? No, not really. Well, congratulations, really. I love it. I love Thank it, you. and, and you've done a brilliant job. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. It's been, been a, a, an amazing year for you guys. Yeah. It has been. And thank you yeah. again for. Uh, I know. Kirsty's not here to thank. Today. Well, I'll, I'll uh, absorb but... all of the thanks <laughs> on, on her behalf. But on, honestly, you know, we, I, we genuinely believe we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and Kirsty. So we're so so happy here. So. Yes, so thank really you very nice. much. There's nothing more satisfying than a happy customer, and I'm not sure this new family could get much happier. Well, it's so nice to be able to catch up with them. And it really does seem that everything's turned out very neatly for Candice, Alistair and Camilla. And up in Bolton, the same can be said of Thomas and Angelina. So it really is a case of a job well done on both counts, even if I do say so myself. Good luck to them all in their happy new homes. If you'd like help finding your next home, then we want to hear from you. You can apply online at channel4.com forward slash take part. Next Wednesday at 8 here on Channel 4, flip, twist and reshake it. George Clark's old house new home has some inspiration for us in the brand new series. Next tonight though, rapper turned property mogul. Tiny Tempa follows homeowners as they unleash their inner architects here in all new extraordinary extensions.